G'day scientists. Today I'm going to review marine science toys. I have Shark Factivity and the Smithsonian Jellyfish Tank. Aldi is the shop these came from during the STEM kit special buy. As usual, I'm going to be rating them on fun, price, and what you learn while you're playing. Then I'll let you know whether I think you should buy them. First up, the Shark Factivity kit that I bought from Aldi for $8.99. It has these six shark teeth inside. On the back, it tells you about the exciting activities and facts contained within the book. I've reviewed one Factivity kit before about dinosaurs. It was basic, but the book was full of activities and the price was also super good. Let's see how this one stacks up. Okay, inside the box, there's the instruction sheet. You scientists know that I get annoyed by this. Why would you keep the instruction leaflet separate from the book? It just feels like it's not a fully integrated kit when you do this. Next up, we've got the book with those activities in, and finally, those shark teeth. Nothing else in the box. All right, let's take a look at the book. The Dinosaur Factivity book was chock full of information and activities. I thought it was really good. This one's got that same look to it with really nice full color pages and illustrations. But there doesn't seem to be any activities in this at all. If you remember, the Dinosaur one had mazes and quizzes and activities all the way through it. Hmm, disappointing. All right, the main event. Let's check those shark teeth out. Okay, the box did not say there were replica teeth, but these feel hollow and they look like they've been painted. That's both a relief and a bit of a disappointment. I think it would be wrong to include real shark teeth. We certainly don't want to be hunting them, but it should say replica teeth on the box. They're a little sharp, but not really what I imagined shark teeth to be like. Also, once you've seen one replica shark tooth, you've kind of seen them all. Why are there six in the box? The instruction sheet doesn't really say much about them and it's more of an info sheet than telling you what to do with them. Well, there's only one thing for it. I'm gonna invent my own experiment. Can a shark eat a carrot? Well, I had to apply some force, but the teeth are definitely going into the carrot. And yes, there we go. 100% proof that a shark can eat a carrot. I think you could see how irritated I was getting with this kit. I mean, I had to invent my own experiment. The teeth were boring. Why were there six of them? The book wasn't full of activities like the dinosaur factivity kit I reviewed. It was just a bit dull. I'm going to give shark factivity one star for fun, two stars for price, and one star for learning. Bye or bye bye. It's a bye bye. Okay, next up, we've got the Smithsonian jellyfish tank. It cost me $19.99 from Audi. It needs three AA batteries, and I know from the volcano lamp in a previous review that I'm going to need a screwdriver and probably some washing up liquid for this kit too. Just in case you didn't know, the jellyfish are not real. Right, opening up, inside we've got some packaging to hold it all in place. A leaflet poster thing, which is so boring, it's just not going to teach you anything. I'm not convinced this is even a real picture of a jellyfish. It's certainly been photoshopped if it is. On the back of the leaflet is the instructions for building the tank. Right, here is the main tank, which is similar to the volcano lamp, but without the volcano. Then in this little bag, we've got the jellyfish. Nothing else left in this box. Let's take a look at the instructions. First of all, unscrew the battery flap and install the batteries in that normal crisscross pattern. Then place the battery flap back onto the lamp and screw it back up again. Next, we take the lid off of the lamp and underneath there is a rubber stopper that keeps the water in place. We take that off too. Next step is to fill the tank with water until it's one centimetre from the top of the tank. Then, just like the last lamp, you have to add two drops of washing up liquid. It's really specific and says it will not work without this added. I wonder why that is. If you have any idea, please let me know in the comments below. Right, let's take a look at those little jellyfish. Ah, they're made of silicon and are super light with long tendrils. It says to add them to the tank without air, so I'm going to roll them up to put them in and then shake them around a bit in the water. Let's take a closer look at the detail. They've got that jellyfish pattern on the top and the silicon has like a shimmery glitter through it. Last steps are to place the rubber stopper back onto the tank and put the lid back on. There we go. Right, I'm gonna get my phone to give you a close up shot of this one. If it's like the volcano lamp, it's going to be beautiful. Okay, let's switch this on. 
oh, nothing's happening. And that sound, I think I know what's wrong. It sounds like there is air trapped inside the pump. I'm going to give the tank a little shake to see if we can get that trapped air out of the tank. Oops, I forgot it has washing up liquid in it. It's a bit bubbly now. Hopefully that's okay. Right, let's switch it on again. Hmm, now the pump is working, but all the jellyfish are staying at the top. This is turning out to be really temperamental. I'm gonna open it back up again and shake the air bubbles that I've got caught up in the jellyfish out. Then hopefully they will float around rather than just floating to the top. Okay, right, this is the last chance I'm giving this kit before giving up. Let's turn it back on again. Yay, it's working and it's actually quite nice. The jellyfish are floating up and down. While you watch this beautiful scene of floating jellyfish, if you found this video useful, please hit the like button. Want to save your money and know which science toys are worth buying? Then please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I next drop a video. If you do subscribe, pop in a comment below to say I subscribed and I'll say hello. I'm very torn by this one. Educationally, it's a mess, hardly anything to learn other than the air floats and messes up pumps. The kit didn't work straight away. I had to tinker a bit to get it working, but the end result is actually quite beautiful. I'm going to give Smithsonian Jellyfish Tank two stars for fun, two stars for price, and one star for learning. Bye or bye bye? Smithsonian, you have narrowly, very narrowly made it to a buy. Listen up, you've got to start including more educational content in your kits. Looking good is only going to get you so far. What a mixed bag this week with the marine science toys. I've got something to share with you that might keep you interested. Here's the rest of the Audi special buy science toys. If you haven't seen them yet, check them out.